the Bureau of Gender Affairs' second annual Sex Week will focus on radically educating and re-educating persons on sexual health and even human rights attached to sex. Arlene Gregoire, Communication and Data Registry Officer with the Bureau of Gender Affairs, had these comments. We talk about sex in Dominica, it seems to be an activity uh, uh, that's taboo. Um, so basically creating that openness and conversation and dialogue when we speak about sex and sexual activities in Dominica. The Bureau has coordinated a week of educational activities designed to share knowledge on personal health and sexuality, but also skills in communication and how to negotiate healthy relationships and friendships. Okay, so we have an entire week of activities and today is Monday, today is the first day of the week and we're basically doing a media blast where we plan on talking to as many media houses as possible to put the topic in the public. So we're actually just taking it straight to them and saying this is sex week and this is what we're talking about. And then on Tuesday we actually have, a two act we have an activity at the Dominican State College well, we'll be meeting with the students. We're going to have a, an exploration tour, um, basically, where we're going to have all our committed partners with us at the State College, you know, doing different activities with the students, all related to sex. We're going to have, the, say, the HIV AIDS unit. Um, they're going to come in and actually take names for testing. Um, we're going to have the Dominica Planned Parenthood. They're going to educate, you know, students on STIs, you know, STDs, um, how to take care of your body, how to take care of yourself. The Bureau of Gender Affairs is going to be there. We're going to talk about, you know, human rights, reporting, what to do, you know, in case of, you know, gender-based violence and everything that basically encompasses, you know, sex and sexual um, activity to, as adults and as students. On Wednesday, primary school students of the Kalinago Territory will have an opportunity to learn about gender and sexuality with a discussion titled Good Touch, Bad Touch. Migrant women and those incarcerated will also have an opportunity to engage in discussions. Okay, so we have an and then we also will be having a, an activity with the HIV AIDS unit later that evening um, in Mero, where we'll be meeting with you know a number of women, immigrant migrant women um, who have come to Dominica, you know, just to meet with them and to also give them that education that they need as well. Um, on Thursday, we'll be having a session at the Dominica State Prison. You know, not forgetting that we do have men who are incarcerated who also need that sort of rehabilitation, you know, for when they get out and just basically educating them as well on safe sexual practices and uh, educating them, finding out what's going on with them, you know, finding out what got them there and how we can help change that attitude and that mindset. And on a Friday, we plan on having an activity at the Northeast Comprehensive School. Gregoire indicated that it is time for society to stop shying away from the fact that teenagers are sexually active, but rather to educate them on relationships and sexuality.